Good morning, folks. This is Tom in the rabbit hole. Um, I'm going to post a very short video here, maybe a, more along the lines of tips and tricks. I haven't seen this one online, so I thought I'd give it a crack. Um, you may have heard me say that um, my quality control guy spends a lot of time in the drunk tank. Um, so I've had to kind of make do with my own uh, setup. And I've never really had a good way of predicting the actual best center distance for a pair of gears. And uh, while I was daydreaming about that the other day, I had this idea, which I guess you could call power spanning, uh, to determine the, the best running clearance. And basically what it means is putting a gear uh, in a bearing and attached to your vise in a way that's square on the vertical milling machine. I just happen to have these little blocks here uh, from a previous version of my hobbing machine. And then uh, you find the center of that, uh, that shaft. Um, and you can do that in a lot of different ways. You can use a wiggler, I guess, or a heim gauge, which I've got. Uh, but my favorite, honestly, is this concentric indicator because uh, it just feels so satisfying to bring it to zero. Um, and uh, th this is probably a little faster than I would ordinarily run it, but um, I'm just looking for somewhere close, to be honest, for uh, demonstration purposes. So you're looking to find the zero, and, uh, and that looks pretty good. That's within a half, half a thou TIR. Then you zero the x-axis on your uh, DRO or zero your dial indicator, I guess, if that's the way you're doing it. Then in this case, I just had a solid arbor uh, that was the right diameter for my gear, um, just by chance. And I, uh, you put that in the machine and then put the gears in mesh. And then what you'll hear when I stop talking here, what you'll hear is me starting the machine and then advancing the, the gear on the right into the mesh to tighten it up and you can hear when it gets noisy and you can hear uh, when it stops being noisy. After that, it's just a matter of reading off the center distance uh, that gives you the best, kind of the lowest um, lash with the least amount of noise. And in this case, that was about 10 thou more than the theoretical center distance. So, um, so this was a good experiment for me and a useful way that I'll use in the future. Well, that's it for now, folks. Um, I hope this has been interesting or helpful, and uh, I'll see you again soon.